What's your plan here? This blanket nice for you? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess this is where he's gonna sit. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sydney. I'm a perinatal athletic therapist and postnatal fitness specialist. This morning, I, well, actually all day I'm off from Starbucks. I do have a bit of like business work that needs to be done. I just, we went for a WALK and I just made my breakfast. So I need to eat that as well. And I don't plan to do a lot of business work today. But I do have some that I need to do, so I think I'm going to spend maybe a couple hours doing that right now and just getting, uh, maybe even just an hour and getting some business work done and getting through like emails and all that stuff, all the administrative things. And then I would like to go to the gym at some point today. I also need to, I need to plan out my week because I didn't get a chance to do that yesterday. Normally I do that on Sundays. But I didn't get a chance to do that today, or yesterday, I mean, um, I was working. So we're going to plan out my week today, and I want to go to the gym at some point. Um, what else do I want to get done today? I'm making butternut squash soup for dinner, which I'm so excited about. That I basically make a giant pot of butternut squash soup once a year, and then we eat it for the entire rest of the year. <laughs> oh, you're just getting real comfy here. Okay. So yeah, I'm doing that today and I'm trying to decide if I want to make some banana muffins today. I do have quite a few bananas in the freezer that need to be, I need to do something with them. Uh, normally I would make a banana loaf. My husband has requested muffins so he can take them to work with him in the morning. Um, so yeah, lots of things to do today. Not all that much that needs to be done, which is kind of nice. I don't mind having a day where, um, I don't have things I absolutely have to do. I can just kind of chill a little bit. But yeah, so I am going to eat my breakfast, get through some emails and whatnot. And yeah, I'll check back in with you guys after that. Real comfy here, hey? So Old Navy is having a, they're calling it Giftober, and everything is 50% off. And I am an Old Navy gal, so I'm going to do a little bit of shopping. I don't like to just buy things for the sake of buying them. Like, I buy things unless, if, it, if it's like an incredible deal, I might buy it. But I will more than likely just buy things that are like things that I need, things that have been on the list that I want. But I don't just like buy things just for the sake of buying them. So I am just going to look through a little bit. I know my husband needs a couple things, but I'm just going to look through and see what kind of deals they have. If they have stuff that's like really cheap, then I will probably buy some. But... I guess we will, I guess we will see what happens. 
be honest, I hate shopping online for clothes. Like I want to be able to actually put the clothes on and try them on and like see how they feel because first of all, returning clothes that you bought online is the most frustrating thing sometimes. And second of all, um, if I try them on in store, then I know that I like them. If I don't, then I'm essentially just like getting a bunch of clothes sent to me that I may or may not like, and I'm just going to be more inclined to keep them, even if I don't 100% like them, if that makes sense. So I don't like online shopping. I do know my sizes from Old Navy, and I do know the styles of pants that I like. And like I said, if the deal is like really good, then I'll take the chance. But yeah, I just don't love online shopping. I'm ready to go to the gym in a few minutes, but I want to stop at the store as soon as I'm done and grab anything I need for butternut squash soup. So I'm just going through my recipe for it. And I do think that I have basically everything. I think all I need is just some chicken broth. I do have onions. Yeah, I have onions. This is a super simple recipe and um, it doesn't have a ton of ingredients either, which is kind of nice. So I literally all I need is chicken broth and then um, a block of cream cheese, which is nice. So I'm going to head to the gym and we're going to get a leg day in. I don't really feel like lifting heavy, which is weird because normally I do at this time during my cycle, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to just kind of get there, see how I feel and then determine what I'm going to do based off of how I'm feeling. So I'm going to grab my stuff and get ready to go to the gym. And then I'm going to go grab a couple things from the store and then come home, shower, um, just kind of chill out a little bit and then get started on supper. Literally that girl that shows up to the gym with so much dog hair all over myself. <laughs> so today I'm going to actually lint roll so that I can get rid of some of this hair. six minutes so that's plenty for me for today I bought a bunch of 
chicken broth and so these were only 99 cents if you have a member card so I got those and then I got the cream cheese all they had was the light stuff that was on sale so I just got light I don't it doesn't make a difference I need to first of all I need to clean up my kitchen a little bit um over there is just it's a it's a mess all of that is just a mess so I need to clean that up and I need to take a shower. I'm gonna to listen to a podcast while I shower. I always listen to, <laughs> this is my routine and I don't know why. I always listen to the Drama Queens like One Tree Hill podcast on Mondays after leg day, Monday or Tuesday, depending on which day I do leg day. Um, I don't know why that's just my routine, but that's what happens. So yeah, I'm going to listen to a podcast, take a shower, wash my hair, the whole bit and we're gonna see what happens after that so my shower is done i need to eat something um especially because we're having soup for dinner which isn't especially super filling um but i do want something to eat <laughs> So I think I'm just gonna make a protein smoothie. I don't typically make smoothies, like that's just not my thing. I make protein iced coffee every day. At least I did when it was a little bit warmer outside. But today I'm going to try a just protein smoothie. We're just gonna do a protein smoothie. I don't, I'm gonna be honest, I don't do this a lot, so I don't even know what to put in here. Like I have some frozen, fruit, maybe some milk. Okay, so <laughs> this is so chaotic. Okay, so some banana yogurt. Okay, we're gonna do a handful of frozen berries. I wish I had almond milk right now because it's just gonna end up being a lot of it's gonna end up being just like a lot of lactose that I don't want. I'm gonna do a scoop of protein powder. This is vanilla by Canadian Protein. This is just the whey protein isolate, which I desperately need more of. I don't even think I'm gonna do a full scoop. I think I'm gonna do maybe half because it is fairly sweet half a scoop. I think I'm going to add up just a little bit of oatmeal as well. I'm going to do just a bit of oatmeal. Sure. And then top off with a little bit of milk so it's not so thick. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. We'll give that a try. Oh, I have a feeling that it's like really, really thick. <laughs> oh, it's actually not that bad. Okay, good. I need to, I'm gonna drink this while I clean up my kitchen. Like, look at the state of my kitchen right now. <laughs> this is too much. I need to prepare my kitchen to cook some soup. And I just, I also just can't work in the chaos of, in a chaotic kitchen to begin with. So I'm going to drink this smoothie, clean up my kitchen a little bit, get ready to cook some soup, to make some soup, but... I don't have to do that until probably like four. So then I'm just gonna chill out for a little bit and relax before I have to start cooking. What I've shared with you, this is delicious. I feel like the vanilla protein powder, anything I've ever put it in, it makes everything taste so delicious and it's nice and sweet. So it sweetens things up. Like this tastes like a popsicle, like a melted popsicle. Mm, it's so good. Um, if you want to purchase from Canadian Protein, their protein is so delicious. It is reasonably priced. The link for Canadian Protein is down below, so go check them out. They are also doing a sale right now. 
uh, I'll put the information here. I totally forget what it is. I will put the information either here at, or in the description below, but go check out their website and you can save on the protein that you want to buy. is so much better. <laughs> I'm going to go and sit down for a little bit and relax with Cooper and then I will start the soup probably around four. It is two o'clock right now so we're just gonna chill out for a little bit. So I'm starting with my soup and I always put on a movie to watch while I'm like cooking or baking or anything like that and it honestly it just ends up being tangled and I don't know why that is. I think it's because I can like sing to it and I don't have to actually like watch it. So yeah I'm just gonna find a movie to watch. Let's be real I'm just gonna watch Tangled. I'm using this chopper today which is the best literally like top five purchases i've ever made it makes chopping things so fast especially for soup where the size doesn't matter um you just want to kind of let it be uniform so that it cooks all the same so this works amazing for super chowder um so i use this all the time i can link this below but yeah so i already chopped my onions and I chopped my, I peeled and diced, or I guess cubed, um, the butternut squash like weeks ago already. So I have this big container and then also this bag and I don't know how much I need. <laughs> I have no idea. This is going to just kind of be like, this is going to be a guessing game to see how much of everything I actually need because I'm doing more than what the recipe says and it's not based off of um like how much butternut squash in like um uh, like a measurement it's just based off of number of squash and so i got three like massive 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 squashes like a few weeks ago which is why i've already cut them up and put them in the freezer but they keep really well in the freezer. So if you ever have extra, then you just put it in the freezer. <laughs> 